Hi friends, welcome to Easy and Home Style Cooking. I'm Mrs. Ragini. Today I'm going to share a chicken taco recipe. And these tacos are a little bit different, dear friends. Tacos, you all know we need tortillas. So you can use the store bought tortillas or you can make the tortillas I'm also making right away. So you can make the way I'm showing it to you. So let's start how to make this simple tacos with chicken. First, we need a mixy jar. In this, we are going to add all the greens. If you have parsley, you can use parsley, but we don't have parsley, so I'm using coriander. Here I have the bunch of coriander. You can use more and one bunch of the leaf, that is soy kura in Telugu, we call it. And for flavoring, we are going to add lot of, lot of garlic. So here is the garlic and some vinegar and chili flakes, oregano, as per taste, you can use the oregano and also pepper powder. This is the spiciness for our dish, so you can increase the pepper powder and salt. If you are marinating your chicken with salt or with, you know, or lime juice, then reduce the quantity of salt. Otherwise, your chicken will be too much salty. So be careful when you add salt here and when you add salt to your chicken. And now we are going to add lot of olive oil you can add half a cup of olive oil and we are going to make the paste with olive oil and with the vinegar which we added so add the olive oil now we are going to blend this into a fine paste so friends here is our paste the green paste with soy kura that is the leaf and lot of coriander and lot of garlic an excellent aroma from the garlic and the olive oil and the dill leaves. So this is ready. We are going to keep aside. And here I have the boneless chicken. I made it into small pieces like this. You can also make it into small pieces or you know if you want big pieces also you can cut it into big pieces. And this we are going to keep aside. Now to make the tortillas, today I am using cornmeal flour and even all purpose flour. So we are going to take half quantity of all purpose flour and cornmeal flour. And here is the cornmeal flour and we are going to add some salt to this and also pinch of baking powder. Even you can add butter or oil. I am adding oil. Mix it and we are going to make a dough out of this by adding some water. By adding oil your tortillas will be nice and soft and now we are going to add the water and knead the dough. This should be like our chapati dough, not too soft, not too hard. If you want, you can make your tortillas with all-purpose flour or you can use the store bought. And now this, we are going to put it on a table top and we are going to knead this. You need to knead the dough for at least 5 minutes, dear friends. So friends, here is our dough. I knead this perfectly and we are going to rest this for 5 minutes. Meanwhile, we are going to make the salsa. So here is the bowl in this we are going to add all the ingredients finely chopped onions and finely chopped green chilies and tomatoes very little salt and lime juice you can add some tomato ketchup also if you want and mix this so friends here is our instant and simple salsa ready this also we are going to keep aside and here I have some shredded cabbage. I have finely chopped the cabbage. This also goes on top of our tortillas. So this also I'm going to keep aside. And now take a small dumpling of the dough. Dust some flour. Keep your pan ready. First we are going to make the tortillas ready. And then we are going to make our chicken. Roll this. Roll it into slightly thin dear friends. Because we added soda. This will puff up little bit. And this will become slightly thick when you cook this. Friends, here you can see I rolled it and this is done. Now the pan is also hot. It's not too thin, not too thick. Your pan should be nice and hot. Drop it. This will get slight bubbles because of the baking powder which we added. You need to just turn it one side and the other side. Just once on the other side and once on the side. You should not keep on rotating your, you know, tortillas. Turn it to the other side. You can see this is puffing up slightly and this is ready. You can see the other side is also cooked. Switch off the flame. You can see this is done. And now transfer this 
and always if you want a nice and soft totios you need to put it in a cloth when it is hot you need to cover it then your totios will be nice and fresh and soft so this i'm going to put it on a plate i made couple of them these are soft just cover this with another plate so that this will become soft and now in the same pan we're going to switch on and we're going to make the chicken so here in the pan we're going to add the chicken the boneless chicken i did not added any oil because we're going to add this paste which is with olive oil so lot of paste reduce the flame if you marinate your chicken then it won't take much time dear friends it will just take 10 minutes don't ever cover this otherwise your green color will discolor so let it cook on a slow flame till the chicken is done so friends here our chicken is ready with the leaf and coriander this is done just took 10 minutes and now it's all time for plating before plating what you can do is slightly you can heat up your uh, totios it's hot so i don't want to reheat it up and now what we're going to do is we're going to take the totios in a plate and here is the chicken put it in the center we did not added any oil again just the olive oil itself and now put this finely shredded cabbage on top of this so add more of vegetables and here is the salsa add it on top and in the last just squeeze in some sour cream or mayonnaise or some tomato ketchup if you want and our dish is ready how we need to eat it you all know just bring it together and have it mm mm good flavors the chicken olive oil Mm, mm, I'm telling you, this is super tasty, slightly you know the sour touch from the salsa, slightly spicy from the green chilies. This is yummy. It's not too spicy. Perfect taste. Lot of greeny, greeny flavor. Dear friends, you need to try this. This is yummy and tasty. I hope you enjoyed this very, very simple dish of making chicken tacos with dill leaf and. coriander if you like it make it share it and also feed your family fresh fresh food see you in another session with some more recipes